Zack let the treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zack? Must be the graveyard. There's lots of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? So let's get going to the graveyard. For God's sake, I, I wonder where Thomas went. George has been looking for him all day. Do you think he left town? I doubt it, Emily. Running away will not free him from his anxieties, and he knows it. I'm sure he is hiding away somewhere, just thinking things over. Think so? You don't know him that well. What makes you so sure? My career focuses on finding people. Actually, I need to change the subject and ask you something. What can I help you with? It's about the gravekeeper, Brian. I'd like to know more about it. You mean Brian the Insomniac? Insomniac? Yeah, he's working both day and night in the graveyard. No one has ever seen him sleep. And that's why we call him Brian the Insomniac. I heard that he owns a large house downtown, but he never seems to go home. He's always just in the graveyard. I guess he's a strange one, even for this town. I see. Then he is an insomniac. We shouldn't have any trouble with the graveyard closing up then, Zach. Emily, thank you. I've got to get going. Hey, York. I've just finished getting everything ready. I'll eat out today. We'll eat lunch together soon, okay? Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? Oh, huh. Is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. And that one? Mission accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. The reward better be good. But you know, about these seeds, they were right here under my nose. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume.
Harry, turns out what you said was true, and I'd like to hear more. York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town as well. <laughs> That's right. But how do you know all this? York. Must be younger than you look. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. Fifty years ago, when the war was over. Legend of the Raincoat Killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York, Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Good question, York. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter. We need to talk about is your raincoat killer. The new raincoat killer, if you will. The new raincoat killer. Yes, let's call him that. After all, he's not the real one. What you want to know more about is the new one. Between ten and twenty years ago, I noticed that these red seeds were special, and someone else did too. The human imagination can lead to tragedy sometimes. Someone linked the red seeds to the serial killer legend, who said, if you eat the red seeds,
So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town? That's interesting, Harry. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. It's your job. Okay, it's worth a look. And we may as well let the old man have his fun.